if all movies ran for as long as the plot spans inside their respective universes. Which one would be the most tedious to sit down and watch all the way through? AI. Artificial intelligence goes millions or billions of years. Same time next year a Christmas carol. At least 40 years. 2001. A space odyssey begins while our ancestors are still primates and ends near the early 2000s. Tree of Life, since it's got that long montage bit that shows the whole of existence and whatnot. Jurassic Park? Mosquito gets stuck in amber then we watch it slowly get fossilized then millions and millions of years later it gets dug up and harvested into Dino DNA. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. They wait 7.5 million years for deep thought to answer the ultimate question. Rookie answers in here. Not a movie. But the Futurama episode, the late Philip J. Fry. Fry. Bender. And Fansworth go through the entirety of time. Twice. Lord of the Rings. The Fellowship of the Ring. We start out with seeing the creation of the One Ring. And end with Frodo and Sam heading off on their own. That saw 1600 to ta 3019. So, 4890 years? If there's some other Tolkien fan who can give a more accurate timeline. Feel free. The Time Machine. The year 1900 to the year 800 2701. Encino Man. Edit. California Man for those outside the U.S. The, the Titanic actually sank quicker than the running time of the movie Titanic. Captain America since 70 years of it is waiting in ice. Not a movie, but if you were stuck as something outside of the TARDIS in Doctor Who. Forrest Gump. Imagine watching someone run for three years straight. Not the longest, but long. I can't believe no one has mentioned the original Planet of the Apes. Terra Nova 85 million BC to 2149 AD. HTTPS. www.imdb.com slash title slash tt16413493 slash https www.imdb.com slash title slash tt16413493 slash Avengers Infinity War imagine having to sit through the 14,605 alternate futures that Doctor Strange had to see in order to find the winning strategy Shawshank Redemption might as well just be locked up for 30 years. That Black Mirror episode where a girl is in that electronic device they call a cookie and they end up putting a man in there in play. I wish it was Christmas every day, or something for a millennia. Pacific Rim. Have fun sitting there watching the buildup of Kaiju Attacks S&D Long News Reports. Watching 14 years of Gandalf pouring over ancient tombs. No thanks. Edit. LMFAO. This is what I get for not proofreading my comment before posting. Yes asterisk pouring and asterisk tomes and carrot Gandalf I can't even use the excuse that I was high. <laughs> Castaway. Four years of Tom Hanks losing weight and only talking to a volleyball. Not a movie but a YouTube video. The History of the World, I guess by Bill Wirtz. Probably a either's 2000 year time skip at the end that's just David sitting at the bottom of the ocean staring at the statue of the Blue Fairy. Lord of the Rings. It's thousands of years apart from start to end. Edit. Star Wars will also be applied to this idea. Endgame has a five-year time skip place Captain America.
The first Avenger goes from WW2 to 2011 Thor opens in 965 AD and ends around 2010-2011. Saving Private Ryan. The first few days are exciting but the next 40 years not so much. Sleeping Beauty. Aurora literally sleeps for 100 years. Lord of the Rings. Especially if you add all those little details from the books. Do TV shows count? Because Cosmos with Neil deGrasse Tyson shows the Big Bang and also the heat death of the universe. So like. That's a while. Avengers Endgame. Five years of doing nothing before the fun begins. How about a reverse answer? In the Doctor Who episode, Sound of the Drums, they travel back between the year 2010 and the year 100 trillion. Groundhog Day. Go get to go insane with him. Based on the number of things he learned it was estimated he spent a few hundred years in that loop. I'll go with either a brief history of time 1991 or H.G. Wells' The Time Machine also from here to eternity if we're doing that kind of pun. 2001. A space odyssey literally spans millions of years. This wouldn't be as bad as the one spanning hundreds or thousands of years. But watching the guy in Old Boy jerk off alone for 15 years would be on the list somewhere. The Land Before Time. The dinosaurs present in the movie. Apatosaurus, Stegosaurus, Trex, Pteranodon. Indicate that events took place spanning the Jurassic, Cretaceous time periods. From 151 million years ago to about 65 million years ago. A range of approximately 90 million years. And the Time Machine. We'd be watching hundreds of thousands of years in real time. Focused on the point where the titular contraption would eventually reappear. Harry Potter. All the school and watching Harry get abused would be torture to sit through. Aladdin. 10,000 years gives you such a crick in the neck. Spending that long in a lamp with anyone would suck. Robin Williams probably less so than most people but it would still be very long. One of my most favorite movies ever. Didn't expect to enjoy it as much as I did. I guess Emily Blunt being in it helped a bit. Okay. Helped a lot. That was a great movie. Don't hear too many people talk about it. It's titled, Live, Die, Repeat, in my movie library. Which is definitely a better title. Cruz did a good job of seeming super hopeless and tired about his journey by the time he got to. Last Loop. I remember the first time I saw it it was annoying enough to think he was in there for a year. Then I read how much time the director estimated he was in there and turned that movie into a freaking horror movie for me. The director estimates he was in there for about 30 to 40 years edit. Here's the quote from the director. It takes at least 10 years to get good at anything. And. Allotting. Sick. For the downtime and misguided years he spent. It had to be more like 30 or 40 years. He memorized so many things that happened and things about people. I remember he learned ice sculpting. Piano. And spent a few days trying to kill himself. He also learned about that female reporter I forget her name. My guess is 10 years. A group of fans figured out it to learn and do all Phil does would take him. 33 years. HTTPS. News.yahoo.com slash how dash long dash phil dash connors dash stuck dash groundhog dash day dash o nine three seven four eight nine three o dot html. Then later the one of the screenwriters came out and said the time spent by Phil was 10,000 years. HTTPS. National Postcom, News, 10,000 years here's how long Phil Connors was trapped in Groundhog Day.
It's my deserted island movie of choice. In Britain Channel 5 used to show a different film every night at 9pm as a flex because films generally weren't shown that often on terrestrial telly. For five nights running they showed Groundhog Day. This is the one. The poor kid at the bottom of the sea. Along those lines, Prometheus. The engineers who provided the DNA for life. Until we would have the capability to travel to another star system. Would be billions of years?